Hey YouTube, hope you guys are all doing well. It's uh, March, getting the itch to get out and do some camping. So one of the things I thought of was if you're a new hiker trailer owner or a potential buyer, what's one thing you really would like to see as far as how you would design or change your galley? So I did a compilation video of 18 different trailers here and all the different galley layouts that I've seen up to this point. Let's get rolling with that video. So remember, most galleys are built simple. The more items you have hiker modify for you, add, it's just going to bring up the cost. So depending on your budget, you'll have to decide whether drawers are important to you, or you want a sandwich slide out, or an extra battery in the back. All things to consider, whether you want to modify it once you get the trailer, or if you want to have it done at the factory, they will more than gladly help you. We'll see. We it's a no step for... Uh, I don't oh. know what to get up there. <laughs> okay. To, uh, Here's a rental to, unit. <laughs> and uh, also, if if somebody you know, gets too close, they'll hit <laughs> this <laughs> rather <laughs> than <laughs> my my trailer. So, Amazon. Um, <laughs> he's awful handy. We yeah. added, we added so did it you on ourselves. Yourself or Rex? We bought or the, we bought the kit from them and added it on ourselves. So all you had to do was center nice. it and drill some holes. Yeah. Um, I wish it had some way to stay in if you're not in a level spot. Let me stay out. Either detents or I'm probably just going to stick something down stick here. Stick a yes. stick in there. Exactly. Okay. Stick a stick Low in tech. there. <laughs> um, what we have done to it. Yeah. I um, Any major mods that you added? or? We added the backup camera. We've got a... Okay. We have a backup camera built in and I put together a kit where I can have a front and back camera on the truck. Oh, nice. So I just added a third yeah, camera I, okay. so that when I'm backing in, I can watch how horrible of a job I'm doing. <laughs> and it, it really is. Yeah. But you see, we sort of just put a piece of wood in there and that sort of... And, and again, with the right size things, things don't move around too much. Um, just made a draw out of a, a wine box that... So that's our <laughs> that's our work surface. Um, this space works real nice. We've got a fan and two tables fit in there, uh, and this and the sort of like the toilet tent, changing tent thing works well. And just just did a cooler. Yeah, just. <clears throat> so we did um, put a 12 volt to 5 volt in there. So there's. Uh, um, cabin lights, galley lights, LEDs under here. Oh, it's nice. got the stock one that was built in up here. Um, uh, <coughs> underside lighting, you might have seen it last night. Yep. Uh, and it. camera, backup camera. Nice. Put that through its Bluetooth to, to either your phone or your tablet. And uh, then this is just 12 volt to the voltmeter USB and another little flashlight. The solar or everything is still in that bottom corner. We put a second battery in, oh, wow. um, <coughs> and we've got a little inverter. And here's the solar panel, but we did a remote, and um, so <coughs> this is pulling whatever 1.2 amps right now. But that seems to do us well. It's actually in the sunshine now. We opted for uh, a high level. Um, this is our version of <laughs> everyone's door stay. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we opted for the high tag because we've actually got a box. I bought a, a, a hitch step and bolted that on the back of a tote. And we've got a tote there that goes on the back for like, you know, snorkeling gear, stuff like that. Do you have builders? Yeah. And yours has a okay. So we don't have a rooftop tent and we don't have a side tent yet, but uh, not yet. We will. Yeah, so it's just super wide. So we've got that. That I run all my power uh, off the Yeti 150, and that's more than what we need because most of our camping is we're plugged in. I needed it to be steady because I can be a little rough on stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it's just the truth. <laughs> so I needed this to be pretty steady. So he actually just took some, Terrific. yeah, uh -huh. just some scrap wood. Yep. In there. And we figured it was just a spot. Because I'm one of those. I'm hard on things too. Yeah. 
the electrical back here is another panel right here everything is on dimmers so so we can brighten or dim we've got full dimmer control and they, they shine inside the drawers they built uh, the wife a little shelf unit for cast iron and keeps everything from So that's the nice thing, he's got this full control system in here. He's got all his different controls, you can see his voltage, turn everything on and off, dimmer controls. Ran strip lighting underneath, which is really nice and clean. Storage for all the um, different cups and so on, food. Pops in, and then we can put our extra water on either side of the tires. Mm -hmm which makes it nice. He can tell you about the rest of it. I know the kitchen because I, I was the one that went there. just wanted it in an L so I could cook. We still need to figure out a table. We usually use that table in the tent for clothes to keep them up, but I think I'm going to try it out over here. Where did but, you get the Korean scrap from? The Corian scrap, we just went to a countertop shop. It was like $40. I think they overcharged us, but it was worth it because we wanted a surface that didn't, yeah. 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 So, and you can just cut it with a saw and sand it down. Um, so we were able to do that. And the sink was the hard. You guys, I would think you were you know, our original design was the pantry not to be so deep. The fridge was going to come out. And that's really fancy right here. here. I mean, we did it with a 3D printer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have a mirror here, so I can do my mirror. And you have the uh, lights. Well, I use the windows in my water. So it's not really. Uh, I was told yeah. for spices. And this is this is special. I mean, uh, Wes, Wes made this for us. We put that there. Oh yeah, I, I've got a, a stuffed deer head. <laughs> Bends to keep. Yep. Ideas. Yeah, we're looking for ideas. <laughs> I'm not a real handy because guy, so I don't everything, do stuff myself. So everything has ended up on the other side. <laughs> Pretty much everything is standard. We have the solar panels up front on the front of it which have worked really well for us so far. We're not even bothering to plug it in. We're not using that much anyway. Um, and we just made a big bunk so the, the two kids just sleep above us. Oh, it's cool. temporary. We'll, we'll put the wall back in and Oh, and I wanted to, yeah, because eventually you're going to cover it up. I'm like, no, I want to keep it on. They're great because it's never really a good aim, so. <laughs> and Wes is great. I'm thinking I should just put them on the outside. But I'm afraid. Exactly, that's where we're at. It'll be a year. It'll be a year at the end of this month. They put this, uh, so like the solar panel slides up in here. So it's up out of the way and doesn't get crushed. Nice. And then it will slide, you know, you gotta slide it this way and then pull it out. Yeah, that's nice. Our solar panel's just yeah. in the car. Yeah. Set it up at 20 so psi, and you plug it in a little. You can. Usually, goes into here. That. I pull a pin that slides into there. Looky, looky. Wow. And Sorry. then. Okay. And did you guys do all this, or did we? Yes. That lady. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, this was something we made. <laughs> this is a quick deploy awning. We thought, you know, you're traveling. It's raining and you want to make exactly. lunch. I'm not opening my kitchen. Um, but we found out west it was more used to keep the sun off of us. And it is simply, what is it, 30 second, 45 second deploy? Max. 
but we found we got to work fabric still. The, yeah, we um, in in any high, suggestions in high would be humidity. Helpful. This goes taut and this sags, but in high low humidity, high heat. This goes taunt and this and sags. Mm. So I got to oh. figure out my fabric. Interesting. Yeah, that was a, like a phenomenon. Now you need to dismiss <laughs> this underneath. Yeah. <laughs> now how did you attach your bunch? Uh, okay, my husband had access to a 3D printer. So I printed those these little. These are just little buttons. You... <laughs> this is our galley. We opted for a 24 inch deep galley so we would have additional room for supplies. So our approach to the galley itself was we didn't want to have everything in boxes where we had to get to camp and unpack everything. We tend to move camp every day and so that just wouldn't really work for us. So we organized this in a way where things were secure but that we had easy access to them as soon as we got to camp. This organizer here, um, we actually got this idea off of another hiker member. This is actually attached to the countertop using 3M VHB double-sided adhesive. Um, and then our spice rack, we also got this idea off another hiker member and is connected also via adhesive. We have hooks around our galley for various items um, that we use a lot. Our top shelf is only about 12 inches deep because we did add the divider between the galley and the cabin area. We did add some bungee cords to keep things secure. Again, given the terrain we travel in, um, it is important to have that secured. You know, but we got the cabin tree kit with the pull out dealio. Nice. And these, I really like these. So we got all of our cookware down there and servingware right there and it, it you know for a family of four it kind of very it's nice. perfectly sized the thing that we've really not figured out is this like yeah. it's kind of like all right so we let hiker know that we had these specific baskets that we wanted to use so they made sure that they had the shelf down low enough so that these baskets would fit and then they're deep enough for them to fit also without moving a whole lot so that's why we have the seven and a half inches on the other side and the inside because that's how much space is left over after having the width and height of these boxes. So on this shelf, when we're traveling, there's usually a case of water in here. Kind of try to do it like a Tetris so that there's not a whole lot of movement for things to move around. Well, I hope you guys all learned something. And uh, if you got any comments, questions on the video, let me know. Like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.